Hello, welcome back. So as part of our uh, Databricks Certified Associate uh, Developer Certification for Spark, uh, so we are in the we are uh, now in the topic four. That is, uh, we will explore the options of learning resources. What we can get, uh, so which will actually help us uh, do a hands-on experience or know more details about the uh, the certification. And when you, it it will definitely help for you uh, to practice and to get more uh, in-depth knowledge. Uh, so we will see what are the supporting resources are available. So as part of this, and uh, previously we have uh, uploaded a videos on. Uh, so introductory part of it and also we have seen the architectural Apache Spark distributed processing architecture and also we have seen a Databricks community edition for practicing for free. So there is a the, the, you can go to this playlist and you can see all those videos. We would recommend you to see those videos and follow the sequence so it will help you in the learning path. So before proceeding, if you are uh, new to this channel, we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for instant notifications. So let's get started. So before actually jumping to the content, uh, so we, this is important to note. Uh, so please make sure uh, you use a headphone for the best experience and adjust volume accordingly. And also feel free to pause and take notes uh, wherever it is needed and it is really important and it helps uh, in the long run to uh, in the learning path. And also recommended to watch a full video and follow the course as per, as per the sequence uh, because there might be contents interrelated. And also practice as you go so that is why we are bringing the, the, this video where you can uh, get the content actually uh, to to start practicing hands-on uh, so which will actually support uh, your hands-on uh, uh, experience and also any suggestions questions please feel free to uh, comment in the comment box and also if you want the practice notes so that we are giving here uh, so or showing as part of this video uh, please feel free to comment in the comment section and also send a request to the given email id here so what exactly we will uh, see in this video right so the uh, see the course content so this video is uh, dedicated to see what are the databricks uh, learning resource there is a databricks community where databricks will frequently upload a uh, lot of contents a lot of uh, mini projects kind of things right and uh, uh, which will help to understand the new uh, latest updates uh, so they will uh, they have uh, their own community channel where they will publish all these resources we will see that and also we will see the databricks uh, uh, the to practice the database uh, the data ch the, the, from our data channel we are curated the practice code so which you can just import and in your databricks community edition and you can start practicing and also how to import and start practicing the hands-on also that we will show in this uh, video content so let's actually get started and see i am into the databricks uh, community edition now and uh, so like if you don't know how to install the community edition or how to subscribe to the community community edition and uh, uh, so this will uh, this is very important this is a starting point uh, to start your uh, practice uh, so we would recommend you to see uh, the same the video which is uh, talks about uh, how to install uh, the databricks community edition in the same playlist so this is a the, the just before the, this video there is a another video so uh, where you can go and uh, see how to install uh, how to subscribe for the community edition and this is completely free so th from the databricks and uh, you can uh, use this for practicing for uh, the databricks uh, uh, sessions whatever we see right and uh, coming to the how do you install basically right how do you install the uh, databricks uh, uh, code that uh, that we are giving from the da the data channel right so basically you have to go to the workspace and either you can uh, if you want to uh, import here you can import if you want to import in the user so user is uh, currently there is only one user so in a one uh, databricks workspace there can be multiple users you can uh, so that uh, you can segregate the code by the user and here uh, or else we can directly import in the workspace uh, root level right so we'll try to uh, export here i mean the import here so there is an option called import so basically you click on this import option and uh, from databricks side we are giving this uh, dbc file which is a databricks uh, code so dot uh, dbc and uh, you can just uh, either drag and drop or upload whatever is uh, 
possible and if you drag and drop so the entire code so will uh, if you click on import basically as you can see you can import the dbc file you can import python scala whatever the file so dbc is nothing but it imports all file formats so it's a package from the databricks so it can hold a scala python combination of uh, all these codes also it can hold so if you just import it so as you can see it is imported and uh, it is actually loaded and you can click on import so as and when you click on import uh, immediately you can see uh, there's a folder uh, coming in uh, tdc databricks training and you can see there is a different uh, notebooks already created or imported so each and every notebook we will go in the one by one in our upcoming videos and see how to use this uh, uh, as part of our practice and also databricks also provides its uh, own uh, uh, learning uh, blocks and learning things as you can see if you can just go through this uh, and if you can click on this right so it will immediately take you to the databricks uh, uh, blog where uh, in the databricks blog also you have a lot of options uh, to see what are the uh, different i mean there is a databricks big data uh, book of data engineering right so there is a community so a lot of people uh, which are supporting databricks or as part of databricks uh, will release the their own uh, uh, blogs their own books so right so it, it will be helpful for your uh, getting updates or getting the learning in the depth right so you can just go through this and uh, this link is already already in the in this notebook and uh, there is one more link where you can just go through and see so there is a AKV demo so as and when uh, we go through this uh, demo so it will help you kind of uh, to understand much better so I'm not going into details of this because I'm here the in intention of this video is just to show the contents right so how the contents are available in Databricks and uh, how from the data uh, from the data channel uh, we have curated this uh, notebooks and in the upcoming videos uh, as we uh, go through this uh, course uh, we will definitely explain each one of this core uh, each one of this notebook uh, uh, in detail and uh, so you can also parallelly practice so how do you pa practice you already know so first thing is uh, install the community edition please check the previous video in the playlist and the second thing is you can uh, come here and import and uh, so there will be a dbc file uh, so i would recommend you to please uh, comment in the comment box and also send an email uh, notification send a request to our email id so uh, and uh, we will be able to send you the course uh, content or the notebooks the or the dbc files that we are talking about to your email id so this is a dbc file that we are talking about and uh, we can send this dbc file to your email id or uh, uh, any kind of a method we can send it to you right so so that's all about it and i hope uh, this was useful thanks for watching